What's up, YouTube? Today we have the structure deck Cyber Strike deck opening. Gonna be a quick little video. I mean, probably already seen it already, but for those that haven't, you kind of need three of these to really do anything. It's trash. I usually keep these in case one day somebody wants to collect all the old structure deck play mats. Um, there it is. All right. You got Cyber Dark Chimera. You can discard one spell of trap. Add Power Bond. Yeah. That's a new card. That's another one. I'll just let you pause and read it. That's our old card from like the GX era. Wait a minute. Is it supposed to look like that? Uh, I can't remember if it's supposed to look like that. I know. I think it does. I guess it does. My back door just crept open, so. You get a new Cybernetic Horizon. Which was also, ironically, the name of a set. One second. Sorry about that. My door flew open and it's loud back there. So we got Cyber Dragon Hurts. This uh, definitely needed a reprint. I don't think I had a copy of this and I was about to buy, I think the Ultra Rares. And now I don't have to because I bought three of these structure decks. Fusion Deployment just actually got a reprint as a secret rare, Prismatic Secret in the Mega Tens. So why they reprinted it in this, I'm not sure. But now it has a super, a secret, and an ultra. You get your play set of three imperms, which is literally a hand trap. Uh, I'm not sure if this is new or not. Attachment Cybern. You get the OG Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon Zvi. Zvi, I think it's called. Cyber Dragon Dre, Dry, Cyber Dragon Vier, Cyber Dragon Nashter. There's also one Cyber Dragon player's play. Core is another one. Pharaohs, I don't think anybody plays this. If they do, I haven't seen a deck profile that plays it, but I'm sure somebody does somewhere. Yeah, Cyber Dragon Valley. And I'm not going to read all these because it's, it's a lot. So I'm kind of going slow so you can pause it and read it your own leisure. Eh, Cyber Phoenix. Cyber Dark Horn. Cyber Dark Edge. Cyber Dark Keel. Cyber Dark Cannon. Cyber Dark Claw. Ling 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 <laughs> Ling Ling Oh, a Kaiju. It's pretty good. Pretty big, so you can absorb with a uh, Nova. Is it Nova? Cyber Dragon Nova. What's the other one? That's the big one. Nova's the the five. I can't think of the, the one that's rank six. That eats up things. Gizmaka Rochu is a good one. This is actually a good card. Pay 3000 send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Um, it's basically Dogmatica Punishment or... Not Dogmatica Punishment. The Dear Servant. Uh, but the cost to pay. So, I don't know if people really play this now that they have... Um, 
uh, Nadir Servant. But if they do, now you have it. You got Cyber Eternal. Replayer. Mm. Cyber Repair Plant. Cyber Emergency, which is pretty good. You can now get it as a common. Cyber Load Fusion, which was, if I'm not mistaken, really expensive because it came out of a Legendary Duelist pack. Then they reprinted it as a Colored Ultra, and now it's a common. So now you have that. You got Cyber Dark Impact. Cyber Dark Inferno. Future Fusion, which I don't think anybody even uses anymore. They might, but uh, that shouldn't stop you from using it. Fusion Tag. Hmm. Review of Fusion Monster. Wait a minute. Target one monster you control. Reveal one Fusion Monster in your extra deck. And if you do, the targeted monster's name can be treated as the Reveal Fusion Monsters. Huh. Okay. So, say like you need... Um, we'll come back to this fusion tag. Machine dupe is always a good card, always expensive. So I always have this. This is a game ender. It basically doubles your machine, all your machine monsters attack to the end of the turn. And where is he at? 8K, 8 K. But I don't think this one's affected by anything. Oh, your opponent's effects. Hmm. Okay, 10k. That's disgusting. Cyber Dark Invasion. Cyber Dark Revolution. Tower Wall. Call of the Haunted. Paleozoic. Can or is it Canadia? Canadia, Cybernetic Overflow, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, Chimeratech Overdragon. Cyber Darkness Dragon. Cyber Dark Dragon. Parabon, Overload Fusion, and of course, that. So, where is it? Now, the fusion tag. Let's say you have just random monster on the field. You could play fusion tag. It's like, all right, I'm going to call, I'm going to reveal this Cyber Dark Dragon. This takes a Cyber Dark Dragon and a Cyber End Dragon. So, you can use it to make one of your monsters either or. And then let's say you have Cyber Cyber End Dragon on the field. You can just fuse the monster that's name is replaces this, fuse it with this, and you can make this. The thing that wait, you don't even have to or about distributing one level ten or lower cyber dark fusion monster equipped with cyber end dragon. So you don't even have to use fusion tag, but you can. Or you can just tribute uh, cyber, one of these cyber darkness dragons equipped with this thing. Um, and it's unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Once per turn, you can equip one monster from in the graveyard to this card. This card can attack up to the number of times each battle phase, up to the number of equipped cards. So, <sighs> 5,000 hitting you potentially twice, and it's unaffected by anything. Well, it's unaffected by activated effects. So if they got mine out, then obviously you can't you can't get over Mystic Mind with this. But still, it's still pretty uh pretty insane bonkers. But this this deck is uh it, it's set to do some crazy things. I gotta sit down and look at it. I'm not really a Cyber Dragon player. I don't know why they didn't give you any of the Xyz monsters. Um like Nova and the other one. I, I just can't think of his name. The one that's on Impermanence. Um, I don't know why they didn't get those in here. But pick those up. 
Uh, they should be relatively cheap because the Nova just got reprinted in OTS 17. And the other one, which name eludes me, is um, it's 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 you can get as gold rare, uh, reprint secret, and original secret. So it should all be pretty pretty cheap at this point in time. So either way, you know, just scoop up a couple copies of this deck so you can get the imperms if you don't have the imperms. And fusion deployment is actually a really good card and. You may be able to come up with something that's deck that nobody's ever seen before. Take the world by storm. But this is just a little preview of what's in the deck. If you wanted to know what was in the deck before you actually picked it up. Just in case you couldn't read the back. But if you want to read the back, that's the back. But as always, all my information is in the description. So feel free to look it over. If you want to help the channel, there's links for that. If you want to reach out to me, there's an email for that. And if you just want to comment and do your thing, there's a comment section for that. I am new, never you. And if you didn't new, now you do.